Father of Liverpool football star Luis Diaz reveals information about the abduction. The father of Liverpool player Luis Diaz has disclosed specifics of his incarceration and stated that, despite his suffering, he plans to remain in Colombia. On Thursday, Luis Manuel Diaz was let free following his 12-day captivity by rebels. The 58-year-old said during a news conference that his abductors had instructed him to maintain his composure. He claimed to have endured a lot of quite difficult horseback riding, lots of mountains, rain, and almost 12 days without sleep. Even though the treatment was good, I didn't feel very comfortable, he said. On October 28, at a gas station in the town of Barrancas, close to Colombia's border with Venezuela, he and his wife were kidnapped by armed men on motorbikes. After police put up barriers, the 26-year-old footballer's mother, Selenis Marulanda, was saved in a matter of hours. My aspirations are to continue in my town because I have my entire family in my town. The government has given me impressively strong and great support. I trust and have faith that it will provide me security to be in Barrancas, Mr. Diaz said. Special troops were sent in to look for Mr. Diaz while he was being held captive. Air and ground patrols were combing in a mountain area that borders both Colombia and Venezuela. Authorities stated that they could not completely rule out the potential that he had crossed the border illegally, in which case Colombian authorities would not have been able to find him. There was a $48,000 reward available for information that might help authorities locate the captive. The Liverpool winger said he and his brothers were in a desperate situation as he begged his father's kidnappers to rescue him. The Colombian FA claims that Mr. Diaz was subsequently set free by National Liberation Army ELN, rebels. The capture intensified criticism of the peace negotiations between the Marxist administration of President Gustavo Petro and the ELN, which are aimed at ending the six-decade internal conflict in Colombia that has claimed over 450,000 lives. The government and the ELN began a six-month ceasefire in August.